Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. I'm going to start with this. So you're probably wondering why I'm showing you the Bitcoin chart. Well, that's how Bitcoin looks on a one year. And this is how the stock market looks on a one year. They're very similar. But people that hold Bitcoin, like the Bitcoin maxis, they always like to say Bitcoin's not correlated with the stock market at all. And if the stock market was to crash, Bitcoin would take off. People would run to Bitcoin as their savior. But I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think if the stock market crashes right now, Bitcoin's going down with it. But I want to show you something else. Right here is the crash of 87. That little movement right there. It looks so small on this chart because ever since then, we've been on a major uphill trend. And I'm going to show you why. So on this day in 1987, stock markets had the largest one-day crash on Black Monday. As a number of unrelated events conspired to tank global markets, the Dow dropped 508 points, 22.6% in a panic that foreshadowed larger systemic issues. Then the next day, the Fed said this, The Federal Reserve, consistent with its responsibilities as the nation's central bank, affirmed today its readiness to serve as a source of liquidity to support the economic and financial system. I think we went upward from there because ever since that day, the Fed has been propping up the stock market over time now here's the thing i don't want to see the stock market crash i want to see one more massive blow off top which we might very well get because i think the BRICS countries are going to collapse the dollar sum once the dollar starts falling in value one more blow off top for the stock market also one more blow off top for bitcoin and the reason i want i'd rather see that happen is because people work their entire lives their all their life savings is tied to that stock market most likely 401ks pensions retirement so it would be nice for them to get their money out before it really crashes down because inevitably it's coming down everybody knows it at this point so we're going to have to wait and see what happens who are the biggest players running the stock market seems very controlled slow crash and a lot of people can sense it they see it coming down little by little then other people want it to just crash out already and be done and get it over with the stock market is being artificially propped up just let it crash and let's get this over with and most people out there know it's propped up artificially and it's been going on for years Stock market crash underway. Bitcoin is the only safe haven asset. At this point, I'm more excited when Bitcoin drops. But here's the thing. I believe Bitcoin's not going to be the savior. I believe what's going to happen is if the stock market crashes out, all of a sudden, they're going to usher in XRP. All that liquidity. I think the Fed's ability to print money is di disappearing because OPEC is cutting us out of oil. Also, you can't just print money out of thin air forever. It just can't happen. Listen carefully. The Fed does not fight inflation. They never have and they never will. Prices will only go one way, which is up. Any short-lived crash will be remedied by printing more money. The stock market and interest on debt is what matters to them. But like I said, because we're in the petrodollar, at some point our ability to print money may disappear. That will send the stock market into a free fall. Lose money in the stock market? Government, you knew the risk. Too bad, so sad. Put money in the crypto interest bearing accounts? Government, you're too stupid and don't understand the risk. We need to make this illegal. Now, the reason they, the government doesn't care about the stock market or you losing money in it is because they can control it. It's been going on for years. We have, you know, people investing that are politicians and they're doing insider trading. It's been happening 
a lot over the years. But in crypto, they can't control it the same way. So you should have never gotten to crypto because it's volatile and you could lose your money. We need to protect you. Let's outlaw crypto. That's what, how they look at it. But here's the thing. When they tell you at the top that they're getting out for ethical reasons, you better get out also. Crypto and stocks are not correlated. Typically, crypto has been correlated to the stock market very heavily. If stocks went down, crypto went down even further. We are entering a new maturity for crypto. More independence, more belief, and more intrinsic value. And now we're seeing utility. It's a lot different. We're also seeing technology move very fast. That's a game changer. I think Bitcoin at some point is going to be left behind. And utility is really going to take off. Sure it can. After the stock market crashes, crypto will follow. Last chance to get lows before the utility switch is flipped. And the legacy market is put on blockchain. Gotta remember, the new financial system's coming also. But I think the stock market crash can be what really pushes us into that new financial system. Because this is going to be a crash. It's going to be historic. And it's not going to be good. A lot of people are going to lose everything when it happens. Rich millennials have lost confidence in the stock market preferring to invest in crypto, real estate, and private equity, a Bank of America study finds. And the reason for that is millennials, they look at the stock market as old. They don't want to deal with the stock market. Crypto is so much shinier and new. Technology, that's what they're looking at. That's why they're not investing in stocks. Reminder, you remember when the Fed board voting members sold all their stock at the very top of the market to avoid ethical conflict of issue interest. And again, I remember when they said that. I said anybody who's still in the stock market at that point is about to lose a lot of money. Because these people have been controlling the show for far too long. I don't know if most people, most of the XRP people pay attention to the charts, but Bitcoin seems to be coupled to the stock market. So Bitcoin will crash with the market. XRP decoupled from Bitcoin in September. I tend to think this trend will continue. And that's how I feel also. I think if the stock market was to crash right now, Bitcoin's going down with it. But I think these utility cryptos will continue on. At that point, most of the money in Bitcoin would definitely be flowing into utility. People would be running to get out of it while it's falling. So we're going to have to wait and see how this all plays out. I just wanted to put something quick together for all of you, showing you what could possibly happen. Like I said, I really, really hope the stock market gets one more blow off top because I've been warning a lot of people that have money tied into it. You know, listen... I know you're at a loss now, but if this thing starts moving up and you get all your money back, get out as soon as possible because right after that, I believe it's really going to crash down. Historic crash. But again, we'll wait and see what happens. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.